Also by uh, 3 p.m., Fed Chairman we speak, that's uh, Powell, we speak by 3 p.m. Nigerian time, today, Friday. We watch out for what he's going to say. You can watch this on Bloomberg, on DSTV, or go to Bloomberg website and check it out. If his speech is uh, tailored towards interest rate, increasing interest rate in the future, um, positivity in the economy, then you are going to see US dollar will be strengthened. But this speech is tailored toward, um, if they are raising concern about the economy, uh, data variance of COVID-19, and um, any negative comment, we affect US dollar negatively. So watch out for this, and then uh, uh, let's see what that is gonna bring. And also that 3 p.m., we see the reverse University of Merchingham consumer sentiment. Consumer sentiment is important, especially at this time. So if the actual is released and it's better than the forecast, then we are going to see price, uh, US dollar will be affected positively. All the dollar crosses will go down and all the dollar peers will be strengthened. But if the actual is lower than the forecast, then all the dollar crosses, if the actual is lower than the forecast, then dollar will be weakened and all the dollar crosses will go up and uh, dollar peers will go down. All right, so uh, that is that uh, for today when it comes to our fundamentals. Uh, the market has been very quiet this week, no much movement in the market. The volatility has been low, don't worry. Volatility will soon return to the market. Next week is um, September. Uh, people that are on holiday uh, will be returning back. Summer holiday will be returning back to the market. So by September, we are going to see uh, volatility in the market. The volatility is low now because a lot of people are on holiday, summer holiday, and uh, that is why you see uh, generally in forest market, uh, every from uh, July, August, you, are, you see low volatility in the market, okay? Because uh, the major reason is because a lot of people are on summer holiday from across Australia to Europe to America, so a lot of people are on summer holiday and uh, the volatility is always low. But we are almost through with August now. Today is August 27. Very soon, we are crossing to September and volatility will return back to the market because a lot of people will be back from their summer holidays. All right, so that's that on our fundamentals. So let's move over to our technicals and look at what the market has for us today. Technically, we are not going to spend much time, so I'll just be brief so that we can go back and start trading. So this is Euro USD. Let's start with Euro USD. My bias for Euro USD today is neutral. The neutral bias I have for Euro USD, though a little bit kind of neutral to bearish. Okay, bias for Euro USD today. On daily time frame, you can see on daily time frame. Um, Price was showing we're going to go up, but uh, later it came back, changes direction. And uh, now, today, this is the beginning of today because we're on daily time frame. Remember, we don't trade on daily time frame. So let me go back to four hours where I execute my trade. Uh, day before yesterday, we were able to put in this trend line. If you remember, if you join us yesterday, we put this trend line. And you can see how price has been respecting that trend line. Okay. And now, we have bullish engulfing here at this support. Today's support is at uh, 1.17, uh, 1.1740, 1.1740. That's today's support, 1.1740, while the resistance is 1.1800. Those of you taking notes, please can uh, put that down, 1.1800 is the resistance, while the support is 1.1740. Okay, now look at this. We were able to put in this trend line yesterday, a very perfect uh, day before yesterday, and price hit that trend line so many times, okay? Because we've seen rejection here, rejection here, and another one here. And uh, 
we can see this happened. Okay, so now price is trending towards that split because here we have bullish engulfing. This is bullish engulfing. And now price is trending quietly towards this trend line. So if I were you, I'm going to wait. If you ask me, me, I'm going to wait to see price moving towards this trend line and see a rejection before I'm going to sell back to 1.1740, okay? But if you are a risk taker, we always have risk takers in the market. If you are a risk taker, okay, this is also enough reason to buy because this is bullish engulfing. It's a reversal candlestick pattern. Stop loss below it, then you can buy this short move to this. Then if this is broken, it's going to hit the next resistance at 1.1800. Zero, and if that resistance is broken, it's going to take us to the next upper resistance. I won't add that. The reason I did not add that is because volatility is low, so we're not going to see. Okay, there's a reaction. This stage to lead us to this. I'm coming. Okay. To lead us to that is a 1.1840. Okay, if 1.1800 is broken, it will lead us to 1.1840. So watch out for this. But for me, if you ask me, this is what I'm looking for to see. Moving up to this trend line, then a rejection again from that trend line. Do you see a rejection again from that trend line? Then we fall back to uh, 1.17 four zero level okay so that's what i'm looking at uh since there's no volatility in the market uh trading should be a little bit careful don't use too big lot size yes don't use too big lot size because there's volatility low volatility in the market low volatility in the market so uh from this uh it's not a good one the lower one is not a good one so I'll remove it and let it just be like this. This Euro USD for you today. Uh, uh, bias for Euro USD is uh, neutral to bearish. Support at 1.1740. Resistance at 1.1800 level. Okay, so let's move. Let's leave Euro USD and go to GBP USD today. Is GBP USD and uh, uh, on daily time frame. Let's look at daily time frame first. On daily time frame for uh, GBP USD, my bias for GBP USD is bearish because this is serious bearish engulfing candle on daily time frame. This is a serious bearish engulfing candle on daily time frame. So my bias for GBP USD is bearish bias. Okay, um, today is Friday, and um, most times we we don't expect too much reversals on Friday. But watch out for this. And then we, we, we had this trend line before. So this is it. We had this trend line before. And um, we've seen price rejecting this level. And also price rejected this level. So and then we see price bounced off this level and this level. So uh, which make that uh, trend line to be valid, both of them to be valid to form that pattern we've seen. So with this, we i seeing price, I'm seeing price going up to that trend line. I'm seeing price going up to that trend line, probably hitting this trend line. Then at this point, there'll be a reaction and that will break it and move towards our resistance at 1.3770 or reject from this trend line, then move down to our support at 1.36. Seven zero. Our support for GBP USD is 1.3670, while our resistance for GBP USD is 1.3770. So I'm seeing a gradual moving upward to this trend line. So uh, we can, if you, are, if you are going to take this, fine, but look at your stop loss, it must be very tight. It's a tight stop loss and see a gradual, and let's see this gradual move. But if you ask me, I love trading close to trend line or close to support or close to resistance. So if you ask me, I may wait and see if uh, this guy is going to fall back to this. But remember, you are looking at uh, a bearish engulfing candle. 
This is bearish and gothic candle here, showing reversal. That's a bearish and uh, bearish and uh, sorry, bullish and gothic candle. Bullish and gothic candle showing reversal upward. So if that holds, this price might trend gently towards this trend line. So when it gets to that trend line, then we, I'm waiting for a reaction. But for me, I'm going to wait patiently to price get to the trend line or price fall back to this support and see what it's going to do. So if price break this support, then I'm going to sell towards this lower trend line. Okay, the support at 1.3670. If price breaks 1.3670 downward, then I'm going to sell towards this trend line. But if price trends towards this upper trend line and there's a rejection, then I'll sell back to this support. But if price gets to this trend line and break, then I know it's moving towards this resistance at 1.3770. I don't expect too much move from um, uh, uh, GBP USD because of uh, the summer holiday. And you can see what price has been doing this week. Price has been ranging between uh, 1.3770 and 1.3670. Price has been trading between these uh, two levels this week because this is the beginning of the week. This is the beginning of the week. This is the beginning of the week. So price has been trading between uh, those two levels uh, this week, and we have not seen a major breakout. Uh, price, uh, market has been a little bit quiet uh, this week. Not like last week when we see all this huge move. Can you see? All this move was just within a week. It was a very huge move. But this week, market has been very quiet, and we've seen so many uh, ranging movement of price within this region of 1.3770 and 1.3670 uh, this week. But um, for us to take some little trade, okay, if, you, if you're taking this, then watch out for this when price gets to this point. And then um, if it breaks, then we are going towards the resistance at 1.37670. Uh, and if it's rejected, then we might likely come back to 1.3670. And by ask for GBP USD this morning is bearish. All right, that's GBP USD. Let me zoom this out so that. Some of you want to put this on your system. You can take a look at it and draw something like this on your system. And let's watch what price is going to do in between this uh, triangle this week and next week. Okay, that's GBP USD. Let's go to AUD USD. AUD USD also uh, this week, as most uh, most of its time this week, it has been trading within this range, within the range. Uh, resistance there is 0 0.7280 and support 0 0.7220. It has been trading within this range this week. You can see it has been trading within this range this week. And then um, we see what price is likely going to do. My bias for AUD USD uh, this morning is still bearish, bearish bias. And then um, what I'm seeing, let's see if I can fix a trend line here, which is looking like a very good one. Let's let's see if we can fix a trend line here. Okay, perfect, perfect. So AUD is is getting close to where we can take a very good decision, uh, trading decision this morning because um, uh, where we are now, uh, we see a rejection at this point. We see a rejection at this point. So it's very much possible price gets to this trend line and there is a rejection. If there's a rejection, then we are coming back to the support at 1.7220. When I say rejection, like um, reversal candlestick pattern, uh -huh, yeah, reversal pattern, anyone you see, either on lower time frame, can we go to 15 minutes time frame to see if there are rejection uh, chart patterns, okay? Uh -huh. So once there's a rejection pattern, either candlestick or chart pattern, then price may come back down to 0 0.7220 level. But if there's a break, then price will trend gently and quietly to 0 0.7280 level. And if this level is broken, then price is going to move up to 0 0.7315 level, 0 0.7315 level, which I don't think price is going to do today because market has been very quiet uh, this week. Okay, so that is AUD USD for you uh, this week. Remember, they are on lockdown. Australia is on lockdown, and uh, a lot of things may not go very well uh, well with the economy in Australia. So put that at the back of your mind. 
And let's go to NZD USD. NZD is also on lockdown um, because of uh, the increase in number, the variant data uh, variants of COVID-19. And um, you may see, and uh, if you look at NZD USD for over past uh, weeks, it has been a shopping movement moving, moving within uh, just this. Okay, this is daily time frame. sorry. Over the, this is weekly. So over the week, it also has been trading within this range, which shows that there are a lot of uh, low volatility in the market, serious uh, low volatility in the market this week. Okay, so uh, look at the daily time frame. Okay, my bias for SID USD is neutral. Neutral bias is, uh, is what we have this morning for NZD USD. And uh, let's see what price is going to do for me. I'm not going to do anything uh, when it comes to NZD USD. Uh, support is at 0 0.6920. That's a support, 0 0.6920. Resistance at 0 0.6980. Okay, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to allow price to trend gently to 0 0.6920 and then wait for what price is likely going to do. So if price gets to 0 0.6920 and there is uh, a rejection, sorry, 0 0.6980, and there's a rejection, then we can sell and target 0 0.6920 because that's a support, 0 0.6920. But on the flip side, if uh, price decides to go down from where it is now and then uh, move down towards 0 0.6920, then we are going to wait for a reaction here so add up a rejection and we'll see an upward move or a break and we'll see a movement towards the downside. But if you are a risk taker, you can go to lower time frame like one hour and see what price is actually doing. Okay, this is one hour. So you can use this to study what price is doing. And then from here, maybe take a trading decision that we okay you can see what I, this is what i'm seeing on one hour time frame okay if this is perfect then uh price may not soar up too much okay this is what i'm seeing on one hour time frame all right you can take a look at all these they are easy to construct and easily you can figure them out but remember this is one hour time frame you might have a lot of false breakouts and the uh, false rejection but this is what we have on one hour time frame so if you are a risk taker, if you are considered to buy, you may want to take a second look at what we have on one hour time frame. If you are considered to buy what we've seen on four hours, then you may want to take a look at this again properly before taking that buy decision. Because um, until, until, if you ask me, until price closes inside this channel, if I'm going to consider a buy at all. But if you want to, if you are selling, then a short uh, stop loss should be used, a very tight stop loss. And let's see how price is going to react to the trend line and then move do, down towards the support at 0 0.6920 level. Okay. Okay. So please watch out for this and uh, be careful with your money. All right. Uh, that's that. And the uh, NZD UXD. NZD UXD. Okay, that's that on NZD USD. So let's leave that and move towards UXD card. USD card, I told you uh, the day before yesterday, this guy reacts a lot to, it reacts a lot to channels and trend lines. Okay, you can see that we do this day before yesterday and the price uh, has not really broken below uh, this channel. So rather, we see this reaction and then uh, for those of you that understand candlestick, okay, this is reversal. That's a very strong reversal pattern, a triple candlestick reversal pattern. So with that, then it's very possible price will begin to move up. It's very possible price will begin to move up to uh, the next resistance at 1.2805, 1.2805. But uh, uh, on the on the on the lower side, we have our support at uh, 1.26. Two zero. That was support at one point two six two zero. So we watch out for that uh, support at one point two six two zero, and see how price is going to react to it. At the same time, we have our lower trend line of the channel. The lower trend line of the channel also in place. So if this price begins to fall and hit this lower trend line, 
there's possibility of price moving backward towards the upper line because it has already reacted to this um, the pin bar, which has brought price down for uh, about uh, many days. It has brought price down for about many days. And now the uh, price may be tired of moving towards the downside and probably preparing to go up. But let's take a very good look at this on the um, daily, on the week, on four hour time frame and see, probably we're gonna see it more clearly, okay? We're gonna see more clearly. Okay, this is a four hours time frame for uh, USD card. Okay, you can see the reaction here, price reactions at, the, as the, at this point. So uh, with this, it's now a little bit clear that for me, I'm gonna wait and let's see what price is going to do at 1.26, to zero level. I'm going to wait and see what price is going to do at 1.2620 level. Uh, the reaction in this region will determine what I'm going to do. So if price, if there's a bounce off this region, then it's time to buy towards the resistance at 1.2805 level. But if price hit this guy and breaks and closes below it, then it is time for us to sell to 1.2425 level. Sometimes, in trading, patient is a virtue, okay? Patience is a virtue. You need to learn how to be patient and not just to rush into any trade that is not clear and uh, you are hooked or probably lose money. So sometimes it's very good to be patient. If I were you, for this guy, I'm gonna be patient and see how price is going to react towards 1.26 uh, to zero level. Then once it gets to this region, we're gonna study what price is going to do within this region and see if there is a break then if there's a break then we'll move down but if there's a bounce then we'll try to prepare to move up towards the resistance okay that is uh aud uh, uh, usd uh, card for you today that's usd card for you today uh then lastly i'm going to look at i'm going to look at um uh gold this is good this is good 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 uh let's see what good has been doing okay let's see what good has been doing so many reactions from uh gold at uh, different level uh so many reactions from gold at different level and then um, we we saw the other time that we had a, a resistance that turned support we had a resistance at on support, and uh, we said that resistance was at at one point. Uh, sorry, one seven nine three, one seven nine three, one seven nine three. Okay, that's that was the resistance that on support one seven nine three, and also at the same time we we see uh, gold trending up towards uh, this top. This stop will be what we'll be watching out for in good today. We'll be watching out for this stop at uh, 1810. 1810. 1810 in 10 10. So if in 10 10 is broken, good might come back to this top in 10 30. Good might come back to that top in 10 30. Okay. But that's on daily time frame and that's huge. Okay. That's huge. All right. Um, also, we're seeing a lower support at uh, another support at seventeen eighty. So let's go to uh, uh, this. My bias for good today is neutral. Neutral bias for good. So let's see this. What good is going to do here? So if I were you, I'm going to stay on four hour time on four hour time frame and study what good is likely going to do. Okay. I study what good is likely going to do, but if you if you ask me, if I put a trend line here, this is a very good trend line on four hour time frame. Okay, that's a good trend line, a good one. Let me see if I can understand it. No, that's fine. Okay, this is a good trend line um, four hour time frame for good, and um, also I can add this here and also see. Okay, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Then let's see what. Gold is going to do in between this 
uh, region. Let's see what God is going to do in between this region uh, today. But uh, uh, it's, 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 it's very clear if there is a break, then it's going to target this resistance at uh, 1810. And if it breaks the 1810 resistance, then it will be a free right to 1830. It will be a free right to 1830. But a rejection of this resistance will take us back down to, uh, sorry, a rejection of that trend line will take us back to uh, 1793, which is our strong support, take us back to 1793. Then if you break 1793, then we are going down to the next trend line and um, support region at 1780. So my bias for gold today is neutral. But I think this is a good setup for uh, good lovers those that love to trade good, this is a good set up for you guys today. So watch this clip closely and then take opportunity. All right, guys, that is our analysis this morning. Uh, if you have any question, kindly 